Stop scrolling your phone and watch this video. India last week successfully conducted the RLV landing mission in a remarkable test. April is a significant month for global space missions including for India. So in aeronautical test range in Chitradurga in Karnataka, this happened. If you're wondering why did ISRO drop a launch vehicle from a helicopter, what's the big deal? I'll tell you. Because what exactly happened was transported by a Chinook chopper. The reusable launch vehicle or the RLV was released mid-air, successfully navigating its own way down to the ATR airstrip using an integrated navigation guidance and control system. These conditions are very similar to how a vehicle would re-enter into the earth from space. Chairperson of Indian Space Research Organization S. Somnath said with a smile, India achieved it. So these are steps closer to making us closer to the objective of having India's own reusable rocket. This test for technology could slash rocket launch costs for us as a country. RLV could lower the cost by around 80% from $20,000 for example to $4,000 per kilogram for international customers when compared to traditional PSLV rockets. This means India's space initiatives could give competition to even SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket which charged approximately $5,000 per kilogram of payload. So this reused technology with Indian expertise can actually make us a competitive player in global space. Past one year has been tremendous for India's space program. Space Agency's heaviest rocket, LVM-3, launched in October 2022, successfully injected 36 broadband satellites for the UK-based satellite internet company OneWeb. This means India is posturing as a serious commercial satellite launch player in the global world. How does it look to on 3rd of April 1984, squadron leader Rakesh Sharma became first Indian to go into space, soaring into the skies to make history on board a Russian Soyuz T-11 spacecraft. 39 years later, Gaganyaan mission will make India the fourth country to launch a crew spacecraft after the United States, Russia and China. Altogether, 44 spacecraft missions, 42 launch vehicle missions and 5 technology demonstrators have been successfully realized since 2014 till date as per government data. Private players have got involved. Skyroot Aerospace completed the first private rocket launch of the country when Vikram S rocket lifted off from Sriharikota on 18th November. This is a single stage solid fuel rocket designed to test systems and process for company's Vikram 1 rocket launch. That is scheduled for this year. The engine used in this launch is named Kalam 80 after space scientist and late president APJ Abdul Kalam. Chennai-based Agnikul successfully completed the test firing of Agnilet. This is company's 3D printed rocket engine at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre in Thiruvananthapuram. Sure, we have had failures too, like this one in 2019 during Chandrayaan 2 landing, but the bounce back for us has been stronger and visible. LVM3, which is the GSLV MK3, was successfully accomplished on 23rd October 2022. As part of Gaganyaan program, ISRO successfully demonstrated a new technology with inflatable aerodynamic decelerator, which is the IAD. It could be a game changer. PSLV C54 successfully launched EOS 06 satellite in November, along with eight nano satellites, including India Bhutan Sat. The small satellite launch vehicle, the SSLV, remember, was developed with the aim of launching small satellites commercially and that at a much lower price, drastically reduced and higher launch rate as compared to the polar satellite launch vehicle which is the PSLV. One of the satellites in SSLV D2 was Azadi Sat and it was built by schoolgirls from across India. Via Space Kids, this initiative was to encourage young women in science, technology, engineering and mathematics. I remember watching the joy and aspirations on the faces of these young girls as they watched the launch of the satellite created by them. Really? All this achieved by Indians? Remember the sarcastic New York Times cartoon that showed Indian space enthusiasts as cow herders knocking on doors of the elite? These girl student scientists then responded to this jibe. They took this dig that Indians are touching space and we love our cows too. India's first indigenous sounding rocket, RH-75, was launched in 1967. Aryabhat was the first Indian satellite launched in 1975 from the former Soviet Union. Since then to today, India is becoming now the frontline space powers of the world and many aspiring countries are now taking inspiration from Indian expertise. Chandrayaan-2 Orbiter is providing valuable science data for the research community already. From Artemis to the touching down of a lunar lander, several space agencies will be very busy this year with these missions throughout specifically the month of April. So what next for India? 
Aditya L1 is India's first space-based mission aimed at studying the sun and ISRO recently received the visible line emission chronograph. It will be launched by June or July this year. Gaganyaan is India's mission to send three astronauts to an orbit of 400 kilometers on a three-day mission and bring them back safely to Earth by landing in Indian sea waters. The two-part mission will also carry a female robot, Vyo Mitra, to space. But we all remember what happened with Indian origin and Haryana ki beti Kalpana Chawla while returning to the Earth after a mission. So ISRO is now also preparing a crew escape system. Once tested in 2018, sharpened now in case of malfunction and if astronauts need to eject and abort the mission. In November 22, an integrated main parachute airdrop test of crew module deceleration system was successfully carried out at Babina Field Fire Range in Jhansi in Uttar Pradesh. Chandrayaan 3. India is ready to send the successor of its most successful investigation to the lunar orbit. Chandrayaan-3 is set to be launched on GSLV MK3 in June this year. Think of the first chairperson of ISRO and the founding father of India's space program, Vikram Sarabhai. A vision, even if in his primitive scientific setup, it stands gloriously vindicated today. Thank you for watching.